Hello everyone, and welcome to Muet CEFR Masterclass with me, Daryl Albright. As Muet is coming closer, you must be wondering how to score in Muet exam and how you want to deal with the new format. In this video, I will share with you about the new format and how you could score better in the test. The new format will be used from March 2021 onwards. If you want to know more about the new format, you can look at my previous video where I talk about it one by one. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready? If you are ready, let's go and let's jump into this video. Alright everyone, today we're going to talk about Paper 1 Muad Paper Listening Test. So this is the new format CEFR aligned. Examination Requirements For your test, Paper 1 Listening Test, there will be 5 parts as you can see in front of your um, screen right now. Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, Part 4 and Part 5 and you must complete it in 50 minutes. Uh, let's go into it one by one. Part 1, Dialogue, 7 MCQ question. MCQ means A, B, C. Part 2, Monologue, 7 MCQ questions as well. Part 3, Monologue, 3 speakers, 3 MCQ questions, this is matching. Part 4, Dialogue, Part 5, 3 short dialogues, 6 MCQ questions. So all in all, 7 plus 7 plus 3 plus 7 plus 6 equals to 30 questions for you. We have arrived to the examination techniques or tips. So first, when you get the paper, remember to scheme through all the questions. You just scheme, that means baca sekali imbas. For you to understand what are they talking about. Second, remember to bring your pen or your highlighter to highlight the keywords. Listen for specific information. Carefully check the possible option and choose the most suitable answer. So you have to listen very carefully. Next is pass if you cannot answer. This is very important because you actually have to answer all the 30 questions that I've mentioned just now, but you cannot pause and figure out the answer of one question until you jeopardize the whole test paper. Remember, if you do not know how to answer, you will just pass it or you can pass it because there will be two times of replay of the audio. Later, we'll check it out in the simulation. Once you're done, remember to recheck because the audio recording will be twice. First, audio recording, I advise you to um, write down the answer or I advise you to, you know, circle the answer. Next, replay, I want you to check the answer to ensure that whether it's right or wrong. So this is the don't. Remember, do not get distracted because you are in going to be in a big hall and there will be a lot of people around you and there will be a lot of distractions. Remember, if you have distractions, do not focus on the distraction, focus on your listening audio in front of you. And next, spend too much time on one question. I would like you to try to answer the question at least below than one minute because you don't want to be too focused on one question until you forgot about the other questions in the test paper. Panic if you miss a question, just move on. Remember, do not panic. Panic will only bring you problems. So if you do not know how to answer, go on to the next question and find the answer. Usually in your test paper, questions and the answers are in chronology. For question one, you will hear it in earlier part of the audio recording. And the last question, maybe question number seven, you'll hear it in the last part of the audio recording. So do not panic if you miss out the answer. If you miss out the answer, remember there always will be one more replay and then you can check your answer. And lastly, leave any question unanswered. So let's say you, you can answer 28 questions in the paper, but you only have two questions that you're unsure of. So if you're unsure, you can actually try and guess the answer if you cannot find the answer inside the listening audio because you do not know whether your answer will be correct or not. In the past, you actually have to write the answer. That means more, not more than three words, not more than five words. But this time around, it will be much more easier for you to guess because there will be A, B, C, M, C, Q question. So if you can't, if you can't find the answer, just try to use your logic. Who knows? That's your answer over there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived to the simulation. For this simulation, I want you to pause this video for a while and prepare yourself to be in a room. Get yourself an earphone, pencil or pen, and paper for you to write your answer according to this video that I'm going to show you later. So remember, 
try to find those items and let's start the simulation okay let's start so in front of you um there's a qr code you can scan this qr code it will bring you to uh, a drive so in a drive you will hear the audio recording there this is a sample from npm themselves so i want you to be familiarized with this try to scan that qr code over there okay moving on the first part so like i said there's a um, qr code over there remember to scan that and try to answer this as you can see in front of you right now there's seven questions seven mcq questions seven multiple choice question so usually in your exam test later everything will follow in chronology that means for the uh, question number one you will hear it in the earlier part of the listening audio and second third fourth fifth sixth and seven etc etc will be later in the listening audio uh, you already have the answer for number one so try to look for number two number three until number seven or more than that and remember to use your pen remember pen is mightier than a sword so remember to use your pen and try to underline the keywords over there if you can see why did Lily go to Kuala Pelangi so listen for the reasons why she is planning or she wants to go to Kuala Pelangi so that will be your answer next how did Lily and her friend travel to Kuala Pelangi so how did so here you actually have to listen to the mode of transportation how Lily and her friends traveled to Kuala Pelangi. Number three, the hotel was different from other hotel because it offered. Here, free drinks, free lunch, discount for rooms. So, try to listen for the services that is provided from the hotel themselves. The last one, this one, number seven, is a bit um, challenging because you actually have to listen and you actually have to make uh, assumption on how is the look, uh, how to say how is the map Kuala Pelangi, yes, the map of Kuala Pelangi Beach according to what you listen and describe inside the listening audio. So I want you to try this and scan the QR code for you to listen. Before I move on to the next uh, question, I want you to know that I'm going to divide this video into two. So uh, first part just now was the explanation that I explained to you and the later part will be the simulation part so the simulation i'll put all the audio inside the video and you'll try it yourself with your pen and paper and i will reveal the answer at the end of the video